So, our fancy Spanish palace got an addition. And with that addition, we'll need, you know, floors, materials, wall materials like paint or wall coverings, doors, windows. And uh, yeah, welcome back everybody to the association and we're going to we're going to uh, deal with that with the ladder there. So we went out looking for windows for our entryway, which is behind us, and we came back empty handed. So it's a nice day out there. We're gonna go out in the yard and we're going to create our own charm windows. So you'll find out at the end of the, of, of the video why they're called charm windows. Uh, other than that, just to let you know, this is not a tutorial. So we will be doing tutorials on windows uh, in the future. So keep an eye out for that. For most of the video though, we are going to shush and uh, let the video do the talking. So enjoy. Okay, so our little window is finished, and um, unfortunately, we had a little issue here um, with 
a movie on pause, OBS running, something else was open. There just wasn't enough resources uh, and memory to go around, and we lost the, the 3D environment. And unfortunately, we had to do this all over again. Yes, we did. So, we did. And there it is. Um, so, just a uh, word of note here. When we go transparent or semi-transparent to get the glass, uh, you want to make sure that you are on a second floor or higher. As you can see here, the, the bottom there did not uh, go clear or transparent when we, uh, when we slid the, the slider over. So just uh, just to let you know. But again, we're going to be doing a, uh, a tutorial on windows, specifically like floor to ceiling windows, because those aren't really readily available. So we can that's going to be a DIY thing coming up soon. So getting back to this, though, looking pretty good. Uh, we do want to make the glass a little thinner there in that last clip, which, which we did. There's the glass inside the frame. now. Do we wish the frame was a little thicker? Yeah, it should have been maybe like an inch and a half, two inches thick maybe, but it, it works out in the end. So, looks fantastic. We went around, we inspected it, we made sure that the glass wasn't clipping through any shenanigans along those lines. So, this is a little, little ditty that we like to do. We like to make a square, which if you don't know, a square is a, a uh, woodworking tool to, to make sure that your project is, is straight. And, um, we use that sometimes, but it wouldn't work with this model because, well, there was two parts of it. There was glass and the, the frame, so that wasn't going to work. Anyway, there it is. There is our window being imported. And uh, once we get it in here, we're going to, I think, set it to door or window. Yep, yeah, because that's the only way it's going to, uh, to work here. But we're just checking out, making sure, once again, the glass isn't clipping. All of that jazz again door window right there and there we go so again folks this was not for the faith of heart nor was it really a tutorial because it was it was the format wasn't set up for it to be a tutorial so again that will happen uh, in the future here but yeah really 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 cool I think we lost the back of our chair there that's that's a bummer Anyway, that is going to do it uh, for the video. There is the uh, the rendered portion there. Uh, unfortunately, we lost the we lost the original JPEG, so we had to use the thumbnail. So professional, always professionalism. Anyway, once again, if you enjoy this like we did, and you enjoy the content uh, here on this channel, uh, consider subscribing, ringing the bell all that jazz we'd love to have you folks we're trying to build this uh, channel here in the sweet home community but uh don't know what we're doing next week we'll figure that out until then signing off for now goodbye everybody